Welcome to this new video of the list dedicated to the programming of the Raspberry Pi in an easy way. You will find the link of the list in the description. In this video, we will see how to write our first program in Python using blocks programming and execute it on the Raspberry Pi. You will not write any code and you will have a minimum contact with the operating system of the board. First, you need to download the two programs. The first is WinSCP and the second is Putty. Both programs will allow us the remote secure the access of the Raspberry Pi. Now let's go back to the site easycoding.tn and search for any link to EasyPython. Make a zoom of 90% to view all of the blocks. To show the message hello world, we will need to call this block and change the text. And this is the generated code. Now we will copy our code. Open now WinSCP. Here you will need to write the IP address of your Raspberry Pi. We saw that in the last video how to get it. The default username is a Pi. The password is Raspberry. In the right uh, side, you will see the default path. I will double click on the folder desktop and work there. For now, the folder is empty. I will create a file. Give the name of your file without any spaces or special character and add the extension uh, pi. Now, paste your code. Close the file and save your work. Now edit the property of uh, the file and make it executable. This is uh, typical for uh, Linux if you want to execute uh, a file. Now open putty and write uh, the password. The ls command will show the content of your default directory. The cd command will move us to, the, uh, to that directory. Our file is in the uh, directory desktop. For now, it contains uh, our file. To execute any Python file, just type the command python followed by the name of the file. And here we are. This is our message. Now. Keep all uh, the windows open and uh, I will make a new program. Using a loop, I will show the message coding is easy 10 times. and follow the same steps. And here we are. I hope that you enjoyed working with the Raspberry Pi. See you soon in the next video. Bye.